Hi everyone, welcome back to Tento Zen. Today we are here with a new video on basics of tooth development. So before we understand tooth development, we need to know the different parts of a tooth. A tooth is made up of enamel which forms the outermost layer on the ground part, cementum which is present over the root part, dentine which lies on the inside of enamel and cementum and pulp which is present on the central part. Now out of these four, enamel is the only one part which forms from ectoderm layer. Very very important term and viva question. So enamel is the only ectodermal derivative. Then what about dentine, pulp and cementum? Ye kahan se bante hai? They form from another layer which is known as ectomesenchyme. Another important term and viva question. So that you need to remember that is dentine, pulp and cementum. They form from ectomesenchyme and enamel forms from ectoderm. So let's understand tooth development in easy peasy way. Before that I want you to subscribe to Dentos and also follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more updates and viva questions. So in this topic we need to understand what is dental lamina. Dental lamina wo structure hai jo sare teeth banayega now this dental lamina is not at all alone in this journey he has a friend which is known as vestibular lamina so hum padhenge vestibular lamina kya hota hai after the formation of teeth all teeth what happens to dental lamina that is another viva question which is known as fate of dental lamina so let's begin so we know we have two types of teeth in the mouth First form teeth are deciduous teeth which gets later replaced by permanent teeth. Pehle 20 deciduous teeth hote hai, 10 maxillary, 10 mandibular, 5 on each side of the each jaw. Then when we talk about permanent teeth, 32, 16 in maxilla and 16 in mandible, 8 on each side of the jaw. Now if we look side view of the mandible, just uh, suppose we are looking at the right side view of the mandible. So we'll see how these teeth are arranged. So first of all deciduous teeth will form deciduous central incisor lateral incisor deciduous canine first molar and second molar later they will get replaced by their permanent uh, counterparts that is uh, deciduous central incisor will get replaced by permanent central incisor similarly lateral incisor by permanent lateral incisor canine by permanent canine first molar by first premolar and second molar by second premolar so these permanent teeth which replace the deciduous teeth are known as succedaneous teeth. Inko succedaneous teeth bol hai because they succeed something. So they are five in number. These five succedaneous teeth will replace the five deciduous teeth. Then what about the permanent molars? These permanent molars, they do not replace any deciduous teeth. So they are known as non-succedaneous teeth. So permanent teeth are of two types, succedaneous teeth which are five and non-succedaneous which are three, that is permanent molars. Why do we need to know this? Because these three different types of teeth, they form from different regions of dental lamina. So let's see what happens when tooth development starts. So in the primitive mouth, if we look at the side view, jab hamara tooth development start hona hai, which happens tooth development starts in the intrauterine life. When the baby is growing inside the mother, in the uterus, so when we look at the primitive mouth, baby ke mouth mein agar hum deke side view se, so there is stomodium which is known as primitive mouth. It is lined by a layer which is known as ectoderm and this mouth is in contact with the foregut which is lined by another layer endoderm. So together they are known as buccopharyngeal membrane. Now at 27 day of gestation, this buccopharyngeal membrane will rupture. Ye membrane toot jati hai beech mein se or, and stomodium will establish a connection with the foregut in dono mein connection establish ho jata hai. Now let's see what are the different layers present in the primitive mouth at this moment. Yahaan pe agar hum isko magnify karke deke, to hume kuch aisa dikhega. So here this region is lined by two layers that is ectoderm and an ectomesenchyme. Now what are these two layers? Now the outer layer that is on the top is ectoderm layer and it is made up of stratified squamous epithelium stratified because it is made up of layers and squamous epithelium cells so that is the ectoderm layer now below this ectoderm we have another layer that is ectomesenchyme now this ectomesenchyme is called ectomesenchyme because it is a special type of ect mesenchyme ab isko aisa kyu bolte hai that is another viva question ab yahan ke jo cells hain mesenchyme cells inke paas kuch Alag se cells in ke paas aake mix ho jate hain. And these alag cells are the neural crest cells. So some of the neural crest cells which are ectodermal in origin, they migrate to the oral region mesenchyme. Yaha ke mesenchyme mein aajate hain. Yaha pe move kar jate hain. They migrate 
and they get mixed with the mesenchymal cells. So now these mesenchymal cells are called ectomesenchyme. So that is another viva question. Now, these two layers are going to help in the formation of different parts of the tooth. So ectoderm will give rise to enamel and ectomesenchyme will form dentine, pulp and cementum. So let's see how these two things, ectoderm and ectomesenchyme, then further proceed with the tooth development. Now, this ectoderm cells in the basal regions, they will rapidly proliferate and they will form a band. So this band of cells, which is forming at certain regions in the mouth. So if we look at the front view of the mouth, this epithelial band is forming only in the certain regions. And this region is in the form of an arch which is called horseshoe shape structure horseshoe shape arch ki form mein yahan pe ek epithelial band hai jo ki hamara niche mesenchymal cells ki taraf grow kar jata hai so this band is known as primary epithelial band so this band will further divide into two layers one which is towards the inside ek inside ki taraf iski layer process ban jati hai which is called as dental lamina and the another process which develops towards the outside is known as vestibular lamina. So this primary epithelial band divides into two processes, inner or lingual process that is dental lamina and outer or buccal process that is vestibular lamina. So let's see ये डेंटल लमाइना और वेस्टिबुलर लमाइना आगे चल के क्या बनाएंगे तो माइक्रोस्कोपिकली अगर हम देखें सो दिस वॉज द प्राइमरी एपिथीलियल बैंड सो दिस विल देन फर्दर डिवाइड इनटू टू वन ऑन द इनसाइड इज डेंटल लमाइना एंड वन ऑन द आउटसाइड इज वेस्टिबुलर लमाइना नाउ वेस्टिबुलर लमाइना विल लीड टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ वेस्टिब्यूल एंड डेंटल लमाइना विल लीड टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ डेसीडियस टीन सो डेंटल लमाइना सर्व एज प्राइमोडियम फॉर एक्टोडर्मल पोर्शन दैट मीन्स ओनली द इनामल पार्ट ऑफ द डेसीडियस टीन एंड द वेस्टिब्यूलर लमाइना विल हॉलो आउट इसके अंदर डी जनरेशन हो जाएगी सेल्स की और यहाँ पे एक स्पेस बन जाएगी दैट इज कॉल्ड वेस्टिब्यूल ना वट इज वेस्टिब्यूल इफ वे पुट आउट आर टंग बिटवीन आर टीथ एंड लिप्स वी कैन सी अर स्पेस सो दैट इज द वेस्टिब्यूल तो वो वेस्टिब्यूल बनता है हमारा वेस्टिब्यूलर लमाइना से सो देर इज अनदर टर्म फॉर वेस्टिब्यूलर लमाइना इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज लिप फॉर ओ बैन एंड दैट इज योर वाइव आर क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स सी अबाउट परमानेंट टीथ अब हमने देखा कि डेसीडोज टीथ फॉर्म्स फ्रॉम डेंटल लमाइना देन वॉट अबाउट परमानेंट टीथ Dental lamina only will help. How? Now there is a lingual extension of this dental lamina. ये further lingual side पर extend कर जाता है and it forms what is known as successional lamina. क्योंकि इस lamina सक्सेडेनियस teeth बनेंगे That is permanent central incisor, lateral incisor, canine, first premolar and second premolar. Then what about the permanent molars? They will form from the distal extension of dental lamina, which will extend distally in the ramus region of the mandible and the tuberosity region of the maxilla, and will lead to formation of permanent molars. So distal extension of dental lamina will give rise to permanent molars, and lingual extension of dental lamina, which is known as successional lamina, will give rise to succedaneous teeth. Now. In the in these teeth, the succedaneous teeth, the central incisor will start to develop at fifth month of intrauterine life, and it will go for the second premolar, which will start to develop at about tenth month of age. And when we talk about the permanent molars, first molar starts to develop by fourth month of intrauterine life, and second molar at about one year after birth. of birth and third molar starts to develop by 4 to 5th year of life so if we see that dental lamina has to be active till 5 years of age so succedaneous teeth they form from successional lamina and non succedaneous teeth they develop from the distal extension of dental lamina now after this after all the teeth have developed in different regions the dental lamina will break down so this dental lamina will be present at about in the third molar region only by the age of 5 years 5 years ki age mein third molar region mein hame dental lamina dikhega baaki sab jagah se ye disappear ho jayega it will degenerate so that is the fate of dental lamina that is total activity of dental lamina is up to 5 years of age then at any particular location of dental lamina functions for very brief period since only a relatively short time elapses after initiation of tooth development so before dental lamina begins to degenerate at that particular location so it is only in the third re third molar region that dental lamina may be still active after it has disappeared elsewhere in the mouth और कभी कभी उसके रेमनेंट्स हमें जो बच जाते हैं उसको हम बोलते हैं सेल रेस्ट ऑफ सरे सो दैट इज द फेट ऑफ डेंटल लमाइना सो एज टीथ डेवलप 
एज दीज टीथ डेवलप दे लूज देयर कनेक्शन विद द डेंटल लमाइना ये टूट जाता है बिकॉज एक्टोमीज एंड काइमल सेल्स विल इन्वेड यहाँ पे ये एक्टोमीज एंड काइमल सेल्स इन्वेड कर जाएंगे और डेंटल लमाइना टूट जाएगा एंड दीज रेमनेंट्स ऑफ डेंटल लमाइना विच आर फाउंड इन द जॉज एज वेल एज इन जाइवा आर नोन एज एपीथीलियल पर्ल्स और आईलैंड एंड दे आल्सो नोन एज सेल रेस्ट ऑफ सेरे दैट इज अन अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट बाई क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स सी द समरी ऑफ दिस formation that is first structure that forms is primary epithelial band now it will divide into two vestibular lamina and dental lamina vestibular lamina will give rise to oral vestibule dental lamina will give rise to various things it will form the ectodermal portion of deciduous teeth and its lingual extension will form successional lamina or successional teeth its distal extension will give rise to permanent molars and when it breaks down it degenerates and some areas its remnants may be found which are known as cell rest of cere so let's check if you have understood the topic or not let me give you some questions and try to find out the answers by yourself so age at which first permanent molar starts to develop you need to answer that then duration of total activity of dental lamina then remnants of dental lamina are called other name for vestibular lamina isko aur kya bolte hain then only ectodermal derivative of tooth and why ectomesen kaim is called so ectomesen kaim ko ectomesen kaim kyun bolte hain so if you have understood the this topic you will be able to answer so that is all for this video if you really like the video and you think it helped you in understanding the topic like and share this video subscribe to dentozen that will help this channel grow also tap on the bell icon so that you remain notified about new videos on this topic and other topics so see you in the next video till then take care bye bye